everybody, it's Corleone from Lifecast Studios. Welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do some quick, awesome animation typing text. Actually, it's not a quick tutorial. It's kind of long. Bear with me for a second. Um, but we're going to be learning how to use expressions and doing a really cool effect that we can save as a preset later on. I'm going to show you how to do that in another tutorial. But right now, this is how it's going to look. So basically, it's going to start blinking. It's going to be blinking and then it's going to type the letters and then it's going to continue blinking as if kind of like doing a little cool like spy kind of thing. I give credit to um, aetoots.com for helping me um, make this tutorial possible. Um, they're the ones who taught me how to do this so I don't take credit for it but I'm just here to show you guys how to do it yourself in case you don't know how to get to that tutorial. But basically what we're going to do is um, little blinking thing in the front little blinking line, that's what I'm going to call it, blinky line and then it's going to type in the letters Lightcast Studios with the blinking and you can edit the text to whatever you like, it really doesn't matter we're going to also mess with the slider effect and things like that so um, in order to learn uh, expressions we really need to understand the bulk of it so this is how the expression looks, it looks a little complicated but this is, let's break it down into parts this is the expression, this is the second expression so this will work if this is worked here so if we didn't have this here this wouldn't work because we didn't add FL right here to the main equation right here which is these little things right here sounds a little confusing but just bear with me um, we're gonna learn how to use all this stuff these are all variables and these are all equations that represent the variables so that when we plug T this will be here L will be represented here FL will be represented with F right here and here and so that when this happens and this happens it'll all be represented right here so this is the main equation this these are the sub variable I'm sorry sub variable equations and this is the uh, expression right here so this is the entire expression a little complicated but in order for this to work these need to happen and also these but let me show you how to do this in a second. If you don't want to watch the tutorial and you want to do it the short way, all you need to do is just go into the description, download the text file with the entire equation in it, just copy and paste it right here. In order to copy it and paste it here, you need to click Alt, click Alt, click, and then you'll be able to do that. But I'm just going to leave that as it was before. So if you don't want to do it the short way and want to actually learn how to use expressions and not take it the easy way out watch this tutorial it may be a little bit long but again hopefully you guys will learn a lot if you have any questions leave them in the comments below or PM me and I'll try to get um, get them answered as soon as possible it's the end of the year right now I'm trying to get through SATs and all that stuff so click file I'm sorry file new project uh, no we're not gonna save that we already have that saved <clears throat> and then we're going to create a new composition composition new composition I'm trying to go this make this quick 20 seconds long 30 frames per second 1280 by 720p animation text typing okay click OK now it made a new composition animation text typing and what we need to do is add the effect so as we saw in the equation um, in the beginning we had to have an effect for the slider little slider control things that we did so in order to find the slider we have to go to effects and presets it's not going to be here it will be here but it's easier to find it here effects and presets type in slider and as you can see it says expression controls specifically for the use of expressions in order to use this actual effect we're gonna have to add a text layer so we're gonna type in Lightcast Studios Dios. Okay. And we're gonna line that up with title and action safe so it looks nice and even. I like everything being nice and even just because everything is better that way. So now that's even, we're using Arial Bold 230 um, sized font and also the leading is set to 23 with the white text. So you guys know exactly what I'm using and how to do it. Change the test to text to whatever you like, but for the sake of our company, we're going to call this Lightcast Studios. All right, so now we're going to go back to the effects and presets, and we're going to add the slider control to the composition or the timeline. It doesn't really matter. Either way, it'll add it to the actual text. As you can see here, slider control. Now what we're going to do is rename this to uh, um, speed. Um, like you saw in the equation, it was set to 
Uh, hold on, let me reformat this real quick so it's a lot shorter. So that, yeah, as you can see, time, multiplied effect, speed slider. If if this was not renamed, we'd have to have this set to slider control instead of speed. But because it looks nicer, we're going to copy this, or we're just going to rename it. So rename speed. So in order to do this, we're going to have to go to the text, and right here we're going to click Alt. Remember, Alt click the stopwatch. Don't just click the stopwatch, or else it's just going to do a little keyframe. Alt click. It even tells you right here. Toggle ability, blah, 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 blah. Alt click to add or remove expressions, and now we can add or remove expressions. Now that we have the speed effect, we're going to be able to do this. So we're now going to add the equation. We're going to stretch this out a little bit so you guys see how this is going to look. Hold on. Okay, so now we're going to add the equation to work with the speed and multiply the timeline so it works and moves this way. So the slider will be affected by this equation. T, which is a variable, space equals time multiplied by the effect space parentheses colon I mean <laughs> quotations quotation speed in the middle of those quotations with a parentheses parentheses quotation quotation slider so speed slider speed slider so you know that's what that means and we're gonna add the semicolon so now this is a new equation so T will represent this equation right here. So anytime you use T, it'll represent this. This will be T. You understand what I mean, if you take it in algebra. Or geometry, whatever math application. Middle school, high school, doesn't really matter. Now what we're going to do is make this type. So we're going to do the little typing effect right here. So sub stra space parentheses zero comma T parentheses. If I'm going too fast, just pause the video and type this in. You'll learn what I mean. So now it's going to be affected substrength zero um, comma this equation right here which is T. And so once we let go of that it'll be affected by this. Now it looks like it's not doing anything right now. It's because we didn't change any value for the slider. It's not going to move any second at all if we don't change the slider to an actual value. So if we set this to five it'll move five letters per second or something like that as you can see so now that we have the typing part down yep that's basically how it's gonna sound if you add effect or sound or audio to it kinda of like when you're typing on a keyboard it looks kinda of cool and in order for us to add the little cursor thing so this is what I'm talking about the little uh, cursor here it's the little blinking thing right here so like let's say you type in light cast studios you have the little blinking thing at the end that thing we're gonna add that to the the text as you saw in the beginning of the video and we're also gonna learn how to do it in the beginning for like three seconds type in letters and have it blink at the end you'll see what I mean so in order to do this we're gonna add another equation representing with F so we're gonna type in F space equals and we're gonna type in uh, math dot round to loop the blinking effect on this little uh, blinking line uh, space parentheses um, time space print or uh, percent space one parentheses semicolon and now we have a new equation it won't do anything unless we actually apply it to the actual expression so now it's a variable and now we have to add the variable to the expression what we're going to do is add another expression right here, which is going to be if parentheses f equals or equal equals one, equal equal one, remember that. And we're going to add a parentheses and we're going to add a space and a bracket and fl space equals uh, quotation quotation with the one or the little line in the middle. Again, it's the key right under the backspace, the one that kind of looks like a colon with the slash. Um, that's the one. And then we're going to add a semicolon bracket. And then we're going to type in space else bracket fl space equals 
space parentheses space parentheses um, bracket and then we're going to do that as you can see now that's not going to do anything but we basically created the equation the reason why that didn't work was because we didn't add the application of FL to this main equation which is the main expression so these are all the build up to the uh, main expressions kinda like backwards Roman numerals this is the main body this is the breakdown and these are the sub subcategories so the main idea categories and subcategories everything will be applied to this in order to apply this to this in order to add a little blinking thing we're gonna type in plus FL bam now we added the little blinking thing as you can see blink 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 it's gonna keep on blinking forever so that's cool we basically did that if you press the zero on the numpad it'll render the with the RAM and how it's gonna look basically it's gonna look like that lightcast studios blink blink in four seconds now what we want to do is make sure that everything is set up correctly and now that we're satisfied with this little blinking thing what we want to do is add the beginning part of the blinking so remember this part right here it starts blinking then it starts typing in lightcast studios and it's gonna blink at the end so we're gonna do this part right here where it's gonna blink in the beginning and then continue on with the rest of this right here it's gonna blink in the beginning do that in order to do this what we're gonna do is add a uh, kind of like a text thing right here so we're gonna type in um, we're gonna go right here type in space this little blinking thing I'm sorry I, I skipped a step what I want to do actually is do the make sure that the typing thing doesn't continue blinking as I type the letters so as you can see right here it's like blinking while the letters are typing but in reality if you're typing on a notepad the this little thing right here does not blink until you stop typing so we're gonna do that in order to do this we're gonna add another variable which is L we're gonna go above T type in L space equals uh, text dot source um, capital text dot length length semicolon that's another variable so now L is going to be represented what we're going to do now is add this equation right here um, what we're going to have to do is go to the F equals one equal equal one space we're going to add the little line right here and that represents or in an equation. Uh, we're going to add parentheses t is less than l, which is the variable that we just created, and space t is greater than zero parentheses space. So now, while it's typing, as you can see, it's not blinking at all right here. It's not blinking whatsoever, and then it starts blinking at the end. Basically, what we did was it'll it says T will not blink until you're done typing that's all it says T is greater than the length if T is greater than the length and T is less than zero then it will begin blinking simple as that alright so now that that's done we're gonna do the last thing which was to create the beginning as I said before and in order to do that we need to add another slider control to the composition so what we're gonna do is go to slider control drag it to the composition we created another one we're gonna rename this to starting or start at so we're gonna to go to effects slider control right click rename start at and now that we can use this equation uh, we're gonna mess with this and rename this to three seconds or five seconds as we did um, with this one so this is kinda of even and now in order to make the beginning part blink um, before it starts typing we're gonna add another equation right here so we're going to go here, we're going to move the semicolon right for now, and we're just going to copy this whole thing. Again, we're going to copy the, this effect, and we're going to name this start at. So we're going to copy, control C, or copy, whatever you like. We're going to type in space, negative, control V, or paste, like this, just for people who really don't know or clue what they're doing. 
multiply. So we're going to subtract effect speed slider and we're going to name this start at instead of speed. Now you can type it the long way, but I just like copying paste because it's basically the same exact equation, except it's named start at. <clears throat> we're going to multiply it by the speed slider, so we're just going to do this again. Control C, copy, and then Control V or paste, and then we're going to add the semicolon. So now it's going to do this. Add the blinking thing. So now speed slider will be negated by the effect of starting at and then it's going to multiply by the speed slider so it's going to start continue starting at with the with the start at effect and then it's going to start typing the letters in so now that you understand what i mean that's basically how to do this entire thing if it look if you want to make it look more realistic you can change this to like 3 seconds and then it's going to look like the google search thing on youtube typing typing or blinking blinking typing 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 blinking 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 and that looks pretty good. We're going to change this now to 10 seconds just because it looks nice. Maybe we're going to change this to like 8 so it types a little bit faster and we have a little more room. So in order to make this a little bit shorter, cut it down from 20 seconds to a 10 second intro or um, little annotation on the side, we're just going to change this above and make this shorter. So we're going to make the slider 8 and now this will type the letters a lot faster at 8 per second or whatever and then the slider will only blink for 3 seconds and then start typing. We're now going to change the composition, composition settings to 10 seconds and now it is officially a 10 second effect. Pretty simple. I'm sorry it took so long but that's just basically how to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions again leave the comments below and I hope you guys subscribe because it took me a while to do this and thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.